Imagine you have a drawing of your favorite character or an image of your favorite character and when you try to animate it using AI, the character isn't moving exactly the way you want it to and if you are working on a project and the animation keeps coming out wrong, you are not just annoyed, you are losing credits. And that hits even harder because every wrong animation doesn't just waste credit, it wastes time because you know exactly what the animation should look like but the AI too isn't just listening. Now, imagine you could control every movement perfectly. The hand gestures, the head tilts, the timing, the emotion, all synced exactly the way you want. That's what motion sync does. Instead of your character doing its own things, motion sync actually puts you in control. It does that by basically watching how you move in a video and then copying those exact movement onto your character. So if you lift your hand, it lifts its hand. If you look at the side, it looks at the side. It follows you frame by frame, almost like it's mirroring you. That's why the animation finally feels smooth and natural instead of the AI just guessing what you want. This is exactly what we're going to learn in this tutorial, how to take control of your character's movement using motion sync. We'll look at the AI tool's feature overview, we'll look at the best practices and its limitations. Now, before we jump into the tutorial, let's talk about what motion sync is really good at and also where it struggles a bit. I want you to know exactly what to expect so you don't waste your time or your credits. When you come to open up AI, I will leave the link in the description below so that you can easily follow along. Here, what you want to do is select video and you'll see motion sync just selected. Here on top, you'll see motion video sync and you need to select the model you're going to use for your motion sync video. In this video, we're using OpenArt's motion sync, but you can also use a runway act too, which is kind of a similar process. If you want to learn how to use a runway act too, I will leave the link to a tutorial that walks you through step by step. Once OpenArt's motion sync is selected, here we will need to upload either the image of our character or we'll select a character from our character's library in OpenArt AI. And down here we need to choose what we want to keep in the image. With the Fusen, this allows you to keep all the details in your image. This includes your character and the entire background in your image. With the body only, this is a bit more selective. It allows you to sync all the motion but it keeps the background of your source video or your reference video, meaning your character in your reference image will be in a background that is in your source video. But if you want to maintain the background in your reference image, you need to go for full scene. With face only, basically it replaces the face only, more like a face swap but keeps the motion and the background in your source video accordingly. And the third part, this is where you upload your source video or record a video within OpenArt AI itself. Then here we need to choose the resolution either 720 pixels and 1080 pixels. Then at the bottom here we can input a prompt that describes how the subject moves but this is optional. I highly recommend you leave it blank for the AI mostly follows the action happening in your source video. Now here on top I'll select character and scroll down and pick Zarya. Now to get the best results from this feature, always use the same dimension of your reference image and your source video. If your source video is 16 by 9, make sure that the reference image is also 16 by 9. If your source video is 9 by 16, make sure that the image is also 9 by 16. I've tested it a couple of times to make sure that you don't even get more weird results. If your reference image has a female character, ensure that your source video is also having a female character to avoid getting results such as this. Then I selected this reference video that I prepared specifically for this tutorial. Once uploaded, select your desired resolution and hit create. Once created, these were the results I got. As you can see, it is on full scene, hence it followed the exact background as my reference image. Like I mentioned, ensure that the aspect ratio in your reference image is same as the aspect ratio in your source video. You could see some cut here because the aspect ratio of my image was a 9 by 16, while my source video was a 16 by 9. Now, I tried out something different. With body only, I've selected my character Zaria, and this is my reference 
reference video of this girl dancing. I selected the resolution to be 1080p. And these were the results we got. The background remained the same. The character mimicked exactly the motions that were happening in the source video, except it came out with a hairstyle of our character in the source video instead of maintaining its own hairstyle. This is one challenge that I got when I was trying out uh, this too. Overall, the motions were excellent. If I were to choose between the two, the full scene did a really good job for me. I gave it this image of this warrior and I selected a full scene and uploaded a source video of this Tai Chi master and left the prompt box empty and hit it create. And this is exactly what it generated for me. This was just excellent. This was just so amazing. It mimicked the exact sound, the movement, and the effects in our reference video. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, consider subscribing because more value awaits you. Imagine what you can create with this feature. I also tried out this different female warrior. Though my character had a bow, it mimicked exactly what the warrior was doing. Again, I used the full scene. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. Now, before I show you what I got with face only, I wanted to see how well it can mimic a video where the character is talking. I gave it uh, this image of this female character and a male character, which was short over his shoulder, and a so source video a of this lady who was doing interviews. I hit create. These are the results that I got. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Mr. Wang. Her video stand out perfectly, exactly like the source video that we just gave it. And the character is looking in the same direction as our character in the source video. Now, one thing that you must observe is the camera angle in our source video was shot from the right hand side. And the camera angle in our reference image was shot from the left hand side. Hence, you see the character looking to the left. I highly recommend that the position of your character in your reference image is a little bit similar to that one in your source video so that you get the best results that you desire. At the time of recording this video I haven't tried out multiple characters but if you have let me know what the outcomes were in the comment section below. And finally on the face only I have this image of myself and this is my source video. I would love to swap the faces and I created this video. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. Now, if you're planning to do face swapping, try to use a video where the person's head shape is kind of similar to yours. It feels like a tiny detail, but it actually makes the swap look way more cleaner. And one thing you must keep in mind is it does not swap the entire head but it only swaps the face meaning the hairstyle and everything will remain exactly as is in the source video but honestly motion sync is still powerful and it's improving really quickly knowing these limitations ahead of time just helps you avoid some headaches that comes along and it saves you from banning through your credits for nothing let me know what you think about this entire tutorial in the comment section below i would really love to hear what you're creating this week hit me in the comment section below from here god bless you let me see you in this next video where you can learn how to create outstanding ai animated movies using only two ai tools god bless you see you